Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can generate our test summary report or test status report with the help of Azure DevOps, right? Now, in the DevOps, you'll see an option to create a dashboard, right? You just need to click on the overview. You can click on the dashboard and you'll see an option to create a dashboard. So if you see here, we have an overall dashboard, we have a testing dashboard. And if you want one more dashboard, you can write us development dashboard kind of thing right so it's up to you if you want to create you can create as many as dashboards you want right so now we have three dashboards so i'll be going through the testing dashboard so that i can show you how you can generate your test case results or uh, sorry basically how you can create your um, test summary report or test uh, status report now in the previous video i have explained you how you can create the shared query right so that shared query is going to help us in generating this dashboard basically over here, right? So I'll go to report on boards and click on the queries. Okay. And there are basically two important factors or you, you can see two important or two major components we generally include in our test summary report or test status report. The first one is related to the bugs and the second one is related to the test cases. Now, in the bugs, we generally want to show like how many bugs we have logged, how, what is the state of bugs and uh, uh, what is the priority, what is the severity kind of things, right? So what I have done till now, I have created a lot of queries over here, right? You can see. So I'll refer this bug query as of now. And if you see here, I have priority and severity column here. Let me remove this column. First of all, I'll show you the issue basically first and how to resolve that issue as well. So once it is done, you need to save query, you can go to charts and you'll see the charts if it is added by someone. If it is not, by default, you'll see this blank screen like this. Now, now you wanted to generate a chart, generate charts based on the bugs. So you simply can click on the new charts and you can select field as state. So it will give you a chart saying that there are six tests, six bugs out of which five bugs are in new state and the one bug is in the committed state. Now, let's say you wanted to generate a charge based on priority, but you will not see the priority field because priority field itself is not there in the result. So you need to add these columns using this column option. You can add priority, you can add severity, you can add these columns. Once these columns are added, you need to save the query, click on charts, you can again click on new chart, you can select priority and you can select whatever chart you want. So I'll use this bar chart over here. Again, I'll generate one more chart based on severity and I'll use the bar chart. Okay. If you see the name of these charts are same, so even you can change the name. Let's say this is based on by priority okay and add it by severity right so it's there everything now you need to add this chart to the dashboard you just need to click on these three dots and you'll get an option to add to the dashboard from here you need to select the dashboard let's say testing dashboard so i'll do the same thing for all these bugs charts Everything is added. Now I'll go to shared query again and I have a query for my test cases as well and even the charts are ready. So test cases, the overall test cases based on the state, I'll add to the dashboard and the test cases based on priority, I'll add it to the dashboard. Now we are left with the execution and execution belongs to test suite. Okay. So if you see here in the iteration two, we have many user stories. Okay. So the first way is basically you can simply create test result from here directly based on the outcome. Okay. From here, you can directly generate, you can select iteration and you can have this iteration result over here, the test result, and you can add it to the dashboard using this the same way. But I'll not add this. I'll show you one more way. Even that way will work for your shared queries for bugs and the test cases as well. Okay, I'll show you. You just need to click on overview. You can go to the dashboard 
and if you see here we have our testing dashboard ready here right it's not properly formatted you just need to click on this and let's say this is chart this is box by parity box by severity let's add box first okay and then from here also you can generate these kind of charts right you can simply click on chart by test sheet copy here you need to click on this configure you can select test plan whatever is the test plan you want to say then it will be test result and then you can say outcome okay and you can select any chart whatever you want i generally go with bar charts pie charts you can use the same things and once it is done you need to copy this or you can you just need to click on the done okay and uh, you can share this link to the customer or the or the persons who wants testing status for your bugs in the test cases you can simply share them or you can have this these these reports and everything in your mail right if you see here i have created a draft email over here right so let's say this is my test summary report or test status report okay for this sprint let's say sprint 4 you can name it anything which will start from this date to this date and this is the overall picture of the project as in term of testing okay let's say in functional test case we have functional testing we have one blocker in the performance we have one blocker blocker you can say something which is pending since very long and then you can add your matrices over here you can put this path right you can copy that path the path which i have shown you you can copy that path and you can paste it over here okay like this okay and you can send it to the customer so i think in that way you you can you can show the in-depth uh, summary of your testing and uh, it looks good actually right it, it's a it's a good way to represent your test summary or test status report right so i hope this video will help you and that's it thank you thanks for watching this video